your work and we will not be accepting your pull record mother hey what's up so um this kind of an accurate kind of inaccurate representation of the day in the life of a software engineer working in south africa um i usually don't wake up that late i usually wake up about seven and then go grab some breakfast and then get ready for the day starts at eight that first hour i usually just spend it um working through any emails that came in overnight or checking my team's notifications because uh I live on Teams, and then um, just checking the backlog, checking what I've got to do for the day, um, maybe starting on a, on a task or two, but usually not really. Um, and then nine o'clock we have stand-up every morning where we just talk to the team and we talk about um, what we're gonna do today and any, any blockers that we have. Um, yeah, my company is fully remote, so don't actually talk to many people throughout the day. Um, so the stand-up is a good opportunity to catch up with everyone. And then once that's done, it's on to coding for the rest of the day. So as a junior dev, um, I'm still responsible for a lot of low-level work on the application that we're busy building. But um, I'm touching all sides of it. Like we have a mobile app and we have a like an admin app um, for the product that we're building. And so I've done work bo on both of them. Um, my most recent ticket that I did was changing like a sequence of a whole lot of activities on our mobile application. So I spent a lot of time working on that. Um, and shifting that around both in code and on the front end. We've got like a, um, a front end kind of custom front end framework that we're using, which is um, quite complex. So I spent a lot of time on that. But yeah, just uh, spending time throughout the day looking through um, code. We use C Sharp and Blazor, and it's an um, it's interesting code base in that, and I've learned a lot working with it. And so then, yeah, just spend the day working on it, closing tickets, um, occasionally asking um, people for help or giving help when it's needed. We've got a couple of servers that we run and um, sometimes those servers have issues with it. And so um, I've kind of um, been de facto, um, like learning how to use them and learning how to solve some of the common issues, which so it's nice always uh, when team members um, message you and you're able to actually help. Um, I spent uh, a lot of time in the past couple of months creating users as well because it's quite a manual process with a lot of REST API calls. So I spent a lot of time creating users and we actually built like a, um, a bulk import tool to create a whole lot of users at uh, once. That was my task a month or two ago um, and I was quite happy with how that turned out. So we've got a nice tool for creating those users now. Um, so yeah, then in addition to that dev work, um, just occasionally um, chatting to team members and helping them with, with their tasks and figuring some stuff out together. Um, one day last week, uh, I spent the entire day actually working with a team member and just um, de debugging like a timing issue. Well, we didn't know it was a timing issue at first, but just um, the application was like crashing at certain points and we just didn't understand why because it was working on some people's. Um, laptops and not other people's laptops and then we eventually figured out it was to do with the timing issue and the way our like uh, tokens were being verified and there was like a timing issue where the token was valid in the future but it wasn't the future yet that sort of thing um, and so yeah that was very gratifying to get done but yeah from about 9 then to about 12 31 I just sit here in my study uh, coding, doing some work, trying to get through my tickets for the day. Then I go and grab some lunch downstairs, spend some time with the dogs, get some fresh air outside because I do not get enough fresh air um, and then after lunch, come back, do some more grind throughout the afternoon, take any calls that come in, chat, and then yeah, 4.30 is the end of the day. Um, it's a eight and a half hour work day with a half an hour lunch break, supposedly. But um, I mean, it's fully remote work. So when you take your breaks and that is totally up to you. Um, but I generally just do two large blocks during the day because I find that's what that's what works for me and I, I do feel guilty being away from the laptop. If I was running my own schedule more, I think I would maybe um, do shorter breaks and go to gym or something in the middle of the day. But hey, it's, um, it's good so far. I've learned a lot. And yeah, I don't know what more to say actually. It's kind of a boring video to make because it's not super exciting with lots of like calls and that throughout the day. It's literally just me sitting here looking at the screen and I don't know how to make an exciting video about that. But next video will be more exciting. Thanks for watching this day in the life of a South African software engineer and I'll catch you later. Bye.